There is rain in the area, but we've been and given now, the go-ahead to get this one started. Chattanooga. A good matchup here for you tonight Lookout. between the Mississippi Braves and the Chattanooga Lookouts. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Steve Mazul will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Play ball. So here's the cleanup hitter, number Batting seven. Four. Pair of hits in five no trips to the plate in yesterday's game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. Oh. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, I can't tell you how important it is to throw that first run up on the board. And that's exactly what they did. A little Come crooked on, go number, hard. You're scoring. a two-spot to give their pitcher a chance. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now at the plate, number 72, and he's ready to take his first cut. Number cuts. 72. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it, the left fielder. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. On now to the bottom of the second. Mississippi leads it two to nothing. Into the box now, Pedro Cedeno. Number three, Pedro. Cedeno. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Left fielder two, two, coming two. in, but he can't runner, make the it, play it. as it finds the outfield grass. Digging in for his second at bat, Jeffrey now Kraft. Batting. He looked to bounce back stop. after striking Jeffrey. out his last time up. Kraft. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Three, Number three, seven is there, three. and he has it for the out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Stepping into the box, Leading number seven. The He's 0 for 1 thus far. No Things not looking very number good seven. so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and on, this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Hit out towards second. Silva over to his left. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Ready for another shot now. Robbie now Jones. Batting. Right fielder. Robbie Jones. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hit. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Peter Dagenaeus. He got on top of one and was a Dagenaeus. ground out victim last time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder has a beat on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on no hits, one error, and a runner left stranded. Now batting, number seven. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, number seven. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things no matter, right. He's keeping that two. front shoulder tough, baseman, staying inside the ball, Alec. not trying to do too much. Blantino. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. 
Now batting. In now, John Dixon. John Dixon. Runner goes for second, but he won't have to worry about a throw. Ball four. First and second now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Digging in and looking for more, Carmen Huerta. Now batting. The catcher, Carmen Huerta. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, now number batting. seven. The bases number are loaded seven. in front of him, so a real opportunity for him to put a dent in that three-run deficit. Oh, here's a line dig, drive, dig, and dig, he's dig. cashed in big time with the bases loaded. Extra bases. One run scores. Two runs have scored. And he's in safely to third as they tie it up late with three huge runs scoring on the play. You know, d Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that the big batter, spot. Number two, second baseman. At the plate, Alex, Alex. Blandino. He's hitless Blandino. in his two at-bats so far. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Stepping in, Philip Tan. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Philip Tan. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Under it is the left fielder. One out. Digging in. Pedro Cedeno. Number three. Pedro Cedeno. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. The Lookouts came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Juan Paniagua claims the win out of the pen, his first. Number 49 earns the save out of the bullpen, his first of the year. The so that'll put a wrap on things game. here this evening. For From our partners, lookout, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at M The stars of tomorrow get their shot and in the now, limelight Joel. today as the show's Chattanooga. coverage of the Southern League is oh, on the air. Now. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Mississippi Braves and the Chattanooga Lookouts. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Steven Lopez will do the pitching in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he the did pitch fielder. well enough to earn Number the win. Seven. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. First pitch on its way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get Go past ahead. that week, you we're just know done. you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left. Standing in, Patrick McCarthy. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting baseman. plunked in his last at bat. McCarthy. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone. A home run. Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Matty V, this is just one of those. Stepping in and ready now for another is. shot, the Steve shortstop. Addison. He went Steve. deep in his first at-bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. 
And that's lifted in the air out toward two, left. Two, two, two. Number seven is there, and he'll bring this one in. Stepping in, number the seven. Bat. He'll try to follow number up seven. the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball one. And this is off the corner and low. Ball one. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Now a move over to first, no, and good. a dive, but he's back in. Hutchinson, base runner at first with one out. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. All right, now hold this up, will hold rattle up, up against the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Into the box now, Carmen Huerta, now as he'll look to bring home that tying run from Norman. second with a base hit into the Huerta. outfield. Here it comes, the 3-0. And he looks at one that misses, ball four. So that'll load him up, but at least the double play is in order here with one away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge right him, fielder, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll Five. see how it works. Five. The one-two. On a line, that's a base hit. Oh, and he misses it. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. You know, D-Row, even though we're early in this one, being down by two, that's a huge base hit to tie things up. Yeah, this offense won't quit, Dan. They're going to give their pitcher every chance. They were able to fight back and get it back to even. We got a new ball game on our hands. Digging in to try it again. Number, Number seven. Number He's got seven. a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. First delivery to him on the way. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hit out towards second. Silva takes it in. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Striding into the box, Patrick McCarthy. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. McCarthy. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes now in the box, number the seven. He's roped number a couple seven. of doubles in three trips to this point. First pitch on its way. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. This is where I think you find out a lot about a pitcher's moxie. No one warming up in the pen. He's in trouble right now. He knows it. Can he right the ship and stay composed? All right, you're here, you're here, you're here. Tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. And that'll plate the time run boy, from third as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Digging in now, Carmen Huerta now and their Catcher. runners at the corners now. Norman. Huerta. A bouncer to the left side. Run it out, run it right out. to him. To second out. for one. On out. to first, and they get the double play. Oh, no. 
Stepping into the box, Leading number seven. Three lookout. hits, including a pair of doubles fielder. for him thus far. Number seven. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on nope. what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage yeah, of it. You know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious. In the a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Dajaneus racing back. Gone! Santa Maria, game over! So a solo shot here to left center field, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Wow, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs, so you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our tops player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around performance from him at the plate, as the stats indicate. Ended up with four hits, including a home run, so there is no doubt he was instrumental in leading these guys to the victory. A one-run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. Chattanooga posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Number 49 earns his third win of the year in relief. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball. A fast developing prospect has his first encounter with the media. If his progress continues, it will be the first of many such encounters. This aspect of life as a ball player will demand the learning of an entirely new kind of skill set. <laughs>